Hello guys, yeah, welcome back up you guys. I'm feeling good. My name is Bukumi Crow. So we're going to be checking out a debate between a Christian pastor and a Muslim man. So let's check it out guys. You can't justify anything that he said because uh, he's not a sheikh. Correct? You're a pastor? Yeah. So you have more knowledge, right? Yeah. You cannot come to a Muslim individual that walks on the street and wants to get into a conversation and start feeding off his not knowledge. If a sheikh came here and yeah. spoke to you, then it's a more logical, understanding, equal level. Hey, they're bringing their, their, their uh, imam. Bring it on. Let me ask you, you're an imam? I am. You believe Jesus, peace be up with him, is God, yes? Yes. yes? And you believe exactly. the Father is yes. God? Yes. yes. And you believe oh, no. the Holy oh, no. Spirit is God? Sure. Yes. yes. So the question is to you. When Jesus was crucified, what did he say? Someone remind me. Father, Father, why is thou forsaken? Okay, the one he said, oh, Father, why have, why have you forsaken me? You're talking to, Jesus is talking to himself. Sure. So he is forsaking himself. Is, sure. is that what you say? Sure, the, the, the human the humanity of Jesus Christ died. But Jesus, did he sure. lose his... his, in, his he never loses his divinity. No, no, he didn't he lose his divinity. Lose so, while he was on the cross, he didn't lose his divinity. No. And yet he said he's forsaken. Sure. Does God forsake him? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Are you going to answer that question? I'm going to answer. This is how I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer this way. The Word of God has a relationship with God, but fully represents God and who He is. Can you agree to that? Now, does the Word of Allah represent Allah? If the Word of Allah is true and perfect, yes, it is it represents Allah. It came from Him because the Word of Allah is perfect and it is the truth. The Word of God are the attributes of Allah. Okay, the attributes, okay? Is that Allah, yes or no? Yes, the attribute, yes. The attributes. Yes, okay, attributes. good, good, good. So, we believe, just like you, that the attributes of God are God. But the attributes are revelations or manifestations of the person. For instance, Jesus being the Word of God is the revelation of God. So, so either you're telling me that you can know God through His attributes, and His attributes are God, or you're saying that I need to have either creation or a word or something else that's not God to know God. Which one is? Okay. No, which one is? We are born in that disposition that we know God. We believe in God. We born as believers. How do you know God? Because we we born as believers. Who was the first one? Yeah. Sorry. The first one was the natural disposition, the natural disposition which is the That's the natural disposition. Okay. So your body. No. We are born with this. We are born. Bones prove in God. No, 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 no. Instinct. Yes. Yeah. But is your instinct Na God? Natural disposition. First thing. Okay. Natural okay. disposition. Okay. Through the prophets and masters. Prophets. And as are the prophets God? No, that not. Okay. So what else can prove God? All the universe. So you're telling me the only proof you have for God is things that are not God. No, no, no. You have no this proof of your question. God, but I have proof because He came and dwelt amongst this us what you in thought. Jesus this Christ. What you this is what you You're thought. telling me I can know God through someone who's not God. Okay. I can know God through a prophet. I can know God through creation, but I can't know God through Did Jesus. No, you told me Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. I challenge you to point out a single verse in the Bible, a single unequivocal verse from the Bible, a single unambiguous verse in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me and I am ready to accept Christianity. So, did, he, did he come to be God? Yes. Well, where? Where in the Bible? What he, what he said. Six and seven. What he said. He who has seen me has seen God. <laughs> this time, what's this? See, would you say the same so statement? Like the father. Who has seen you has seen yeah, God? Yeah, no. No. Who forgives sin? Exactly. No. But you know what? Who forgives sin? So then, so then why who would you say sin? sin? Say it. The disciples. If, no. if what Jesus said is so, yeah. is, is so not... This is not relevant. Who said it? Listen to me. Who forgives sin? I'll let you go. If what Jesus said didn't prove that he was saying that he's God, then why don't you just say it? say it. As well, you know what? I'll tell you something. I will tell you something. Say who has seen Mr. Imam has seen God. And as well, there is something. There is many God <laughs> from the children of Israel. Yes, yes, well, well, this, 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 okay, so are you admitting that you're not answering my question? 
Did he look at father? Let's say your father. Let's suppose. Let's assume. Let's assume. Let's assume this. Let's just answer my question. Can you say it? Do you have seen you? I won't say it. Why won't you say it? Because you're not. Because I'm not. Because I'm not. Because I'm not. Because I'm not. Exactly. Case done, guys. Exactly. Second point. The second point. I gave you enough of my time. The second point. I gave you enough of my time. That he gave his one and only son. That whosoever believes in him should not serve. So again, we had a civil debate with Mr. Imam. You said you said he cannot say he who has seen him has seen God. Why? Because he said in his own words he is not God. But could the proof say that? But could the proof say that? But Jesus said it. But could the proof say that? He said it. He said he's God. Jesus, because he's Lord. And he said he's not God. My friends, Jesus is the Word of God, who was God and is God. I don't think this debate can ever end. Like it's always coming up from different angles, people trying to explain their own point of view, trying to use Quran, Bible to back it up, you know, through their own understanding. <sighs> Man. And one thing I always notice about Muslims is that when they want to talk about Jesus not being God, this is one thing they always talk about that Holy Spirit is God, Jesus is God, this is God. So how can you say that? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want to keep talking about this issue, guys, because I've explained it several times. But I want to make a point on the last statement the pastor said. The last thing he said, he said, Jesus said it that he who has seen me has seen God. For him to make that statement, that means he is a God, true God, like. Through him you can see God because he's, 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 a, he's the son of God, you get it. As I told the Imam that, can you say that he would that has seen me, that is him as Imam, as single? And I said, he can't say that because he is not God. So he said he should prove to him why Jesus is God. And that particular verse from the Bible has already proved to the Imam why Jesus is God. You know? People are saying this that Jesus is not God because he died on the cross. He did this, I can a God die on the cross and rise up three days later. Nobody can question God. I don't understand. Nobody can question. He is Lord. You get it? And I don't know. Like I always say, what is written in the Quran is different from what is written in the Bible. The kind of story that I was given about Jesus Christ in the Quran. There's a difference, like little difference from is it is a bit different from what is given in the Bible. God actually sent his own son. And another proof that Jesus is God is the way he was born, the way he was given birth to. He was not given birth to in a normal way, like the way a man being give birth to children. <laughs> Mary never had any sexual intercourse with yourself you get it she was a virgin so in this era who is that virgin that will conceive and tell me that oh i never knew any man but i just you know got pregnant there's nobody that's another proof that he's not just a normal person jesus was not just a normal he's an extraordinary person that's another proof that he is god I know you guys will drag me, guys, but that, that's the only way I can explain it, guys. I don't know. Everybody's explanation, point of view is different. I'm not saying that from the Quran's perspective is wrong. The Quran, you know, shed light about Jesus Christ in a different way. Why in the Bible, there, there are proofs. Like the way the man gave a verse saying that Jesus said, He would have seen me as seen God. In other words, he is God. That's why he told the Imam that, can you say that he would have seen him, him as Imam? As he said, he cannot because he's not God. That was all. So, I don't know. I just enjoyed this conversation. And I don't know, still keep dragging. People keep 
you know, I don't know, I don't know when this whole debate will come to an end. I don't think it will ever come to an end. And I'm, the Imam is not wrong, the pastor is not wrong. But due to our faith, that's how it is. Muslim, through their their faith in the Quran, that's what they let them believe Jesus is. And true Christianity faith in the Bible, that is what we are meant to believe that Jesus is called. Case closed. This is not an argument. Like this should not cause fight because none of them are wrong. It's just that we try we tend to understand it in different dimension. So thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.